Hello friends, uh, I am Dr. Prakash Kumar Swain, Consultant Radiation Oncologist at HCG Panda Cancer Hospital, Katak, Odisha. Friends, today I wanted to uh, speak uh, on a very common topic, uh, on a very common uh, issue that is what happens during radiation therapy. Any patient of cancer, when advised to undergo radiation, they usually uh, think that it's a very morbid procedure it's a very damaging procedure so uh, inherently they want to avoid uh, radiation therapy the first question they ask can we avoid it why because uh, in our society uh, the the myth says that radiation uh, used to have more damage to the patients rather than benefit okay so this myth i want to break today what happens during radiation therapy so radiation therapy is a very important form of cancer therapy uh, they can be used either before surgery after surgery and uh, sometimes to make surgery possible also that uh, when it is used as a pre therapy or new adjuvant so uh, where is uh, radiation ther therapy given mostly this, this type of therapies are given in linear accelerators or in short form linax previously uh, we were very uh, commonly seeing the cobalt machines which are now uh, outnumbered so most of the patients are getting treated at uh, or uh, with the help of linear accelerators so in linear accelerators what happens that it produces very high dose uh, photon beams or electron beams and through these beams we try to kill the cancer cells so uh, it's a very extensive uh, procedure but what we understand that uh, two important part to the radiation therapy first is immobilization any patient when is due for radiation therapy needs to be slept or needs to be kept on the couch in a very uh, reproducible fashion means uh, he he or she has to be in that position approximately daily without much difference in the location and its uh, shape size uh, what i means our target should be finite and fixed the more there is a movement in the target so uh, there is a chance that uh, we can miss the target in the tumor and uh, simultaneously will be hitting or uh, uh, targeting uh, the unwanted or maybe the uh, our natural structures which are bas uh, which we always intend to save as much as possible now, um, coming to the side effects, we all fear uh, or the patients fear about uh, immense array of side effects which the radiation can give. Okay, so what type of side effects we can have with radiation therapy? It completely depends upon a few factors. Most importantly, which part of body we are about to give radiation. Uh, as we all know, head and neck is the major uh, area where we have to give a significant amount of radiation for a significant portion of time means they get radiation either for six or seven weeks so and during this time they get a significant uh, side effects so uh, but for rest of the body parts the side effects are reasonably controlled in head and neck in spite of the best of the technique uh, our patients do get uh, grade three and grade four means severe side effects now why does the side effect happens and uh, how to manage them first thing they happen only because when we are treating with high dose uh, uh, rays means x-rays so they have a potential to damage the tumor cell as well as our uh, normal healthy uh, surrounding tissue cells so uh, we uh, as radiation oncologist or in our uh, system we want to save uh, these uh, normal tissues as much as possible so uh, that there comes the role of uh, technology the more uh, precise radiation you do more image guided radiation you do you find that uh, your targets are saved and your toxicities are limited and uh, second thing is that um, it also depends upon uh, patient's general condition a patient who is very much uh, uh, healthy with less comorbid conditions like blood pressure, diabetes, cardiac and liver and other lung related issues or any patient who is well hydrated, well with a very good nutrition 
definitely he or she can uh, fight with uh, these limited radiation related toxicities uh, very well so a patient who is not doing well in terms of nutrition will definitely have a hard time when uh, he or she uh, undergoes the radiation so a uh, very um, uh, sophisticated systematic way of uh, evaluation and surveillance is also important when a patient receives a radical radiotherapy that is for a longer period of time and uh, at the end i will definitely like to emphasize on the role of society and the role of family in order to maintain the patient's hygiene patient's uh, comorbid conditions and patient's uh, general nutrition and definitely uh, psychotherapy and keeping their morals high is also very important so uh, if done in a proper way the radiation uh, related toxicities are minimal and they can be easily managed with appropriate uh, use of medications and uh, use of uh, uh, high uh, intensity uh, modulated and image guided radiation therapy thank you